when I was turning out the study cupboard, I came across this um, manuscript, um, which I tried to find uh, the various publishers I knew that Harry had uh, been to. I tried to find out whether they'd ever seen it, and they hadn't. So I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll read this and see what it's like. It was on flimsy paper with penciled notes on the side and everything, so it was quite difficult. Um, but anyway, when I read it, I thought, this is a very exciting book. And I suddenly realised that this was an absolutely perfect audio book. It just came alive. I mean, this is the, the question that everybody asks, how, how on earth is it still in the cupboard? Well, why why yeah. did that happen? He had a sort of impish sense of humour, and I think he thought to himself, I know, I'm going to leave a manuscript to be discovered after my death. I don't know. But it, I don't think it was sheer forgetfulness. I do think it is a very, very good book. It has a, a good ongoing, two good ongoing going stories, and it has an enormous amount of uh, philosophical thought underneath it all, going on all the time. And it's very much a homage to Conrad, as the kind of light is a quote from Conrad's book, Heart of Darkness. I think I would like to th think that the public would remember him as um, somebody who really loved words um, and really wanted to write for somebody to enjoy what was on the page.